Leo Virgo Cuspers. What's up? How y'all doing? Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in. So we're back at it. We're continuing with our cusp readings for the month, testing these out, see how you guys like them, see how, see what's going on for you guys. This was a special request, so I was very happy to oblige. So we're going to do it, yeah? Um, so if you're new to the channel, welcome. It's very nice to meet you. My name is Eric. But if, I, if you are new to the channel, then this is really going to be nothing too crazy for you other than the fact that it's a cusp reading, right? But if you are new, if you are an OG, um, I'm doing this in the very, in the same way as I did my monthly readings for March. Um, Kaya, hey, you, sorry, it's the cat. She's being a little, she's being a little trickster. Um, but... Uh, I'm doing it the same way that I did my monthly readings other than the fact for March other than the fact that it's not live Yeah, so I'm working with an Oracle base and then I'll be going to the Tarot to get some clarity for you guys So keep in mind that time is an illusion and every energies are fluid just because this is dated for the month of March It doesn't mean that it absolutely has to resonate for you at that time Whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates for you Then that's the message for you in that moment. Also keep in mind that this is a general reading Yeah, I could be talking to some cross watchers here. Okay, so if things resonate for you and you're the cross watcher but I'm speaking specifically to the cusper don't worry about it take it as it resonates flip it around as it works for your story but if it doesn't necessarily work for your story don't try and make it fit in there right okay um, so to be in order to be considered a, a Leo Virgo cusper you need to have been born between the window of August 19th through the 25th yeah so I'm just going to get general messages for you guys. We're not going to look into love at this time. Um, if you guys like this and you want me to do love, I can and will do love later on, maybe in the next round or as a separate thing. Okay? All right. I believe that's it. Let's get started. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Leo Virgo cuspers at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved for the month of March 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, kids, they're having me you're having me do five shuffles for this. Whoa, hold on. Let me get myself situated. Okay, five shuffles for you. So let's see what we've got here. Also, keep in mind, guys, you may have noticed I'm not using my mic right now because I'm using my old laptop, and I realized that it wasn't necessarily the mic that was giving me the problem. It actually was, it looks to be the USB port on my laptop. So, I don't know. I may not be using my mic for the rest of the time that I'm here in Puerto Rico, but we'll see. I don't know. It's kind of fickle, and I can't really tell why or when it is or it is not going to work, so whatever. That's three. Four. My Leo Virgo Cuspers. Let's give it two more shuffles. For your month of March. Let's see what's going on for you here, guys. One last shuffle. All righty. Let's see what we've got. Yeah, for my Leo Virgo Cuspers. What's going on in the month of March for you here? Okay, well, look, that seems to be all of it right there. Uh-huh. Okay. All right, two more cards, please, Spirit. Two more cards. Leo Virgo Cuspers. It looks like you guys are going through a little bit of a, a transition, the end of a long... I'm hearing the end of a long-standing relationship... Um, this could have been a marriage. This could have been a union of sorts. Oh, yeah. Uh, some sort of divine connection, possibly, potentially. At the bottom of the deck, you do have envy. Okay. Now, um, interesting. I'm kind of getting, maybe this is a situation where um, I'm talking, maybe I'm, I'm also kind of speaking to the cross watcher or maybe you're the both of you uh, or like multiple people in involved in this situation would fall under this cusp um but what you have guys you have indecision you have the world you have anxiety okay um then you have three more cards but i'll get there in a second i just want to talk about this first so it, it really does seem like something is coming to an end okay now the world is it, the world can talk about, you know, the world is your oyster, um, anything is possible, 
all that good stuff. But I'm just getting a sense of completion with this, very similar to the world card in the Tarot. Um, and uh, now, also, the other thing that I'm getting from the world in this sense of completion is the fact that maybe you're taking you or maybe the other person involved in this situation here is taking an expansive, like a, a zoomed out view um, and is trying to come to terms with whatever is going on with this situation for you. This could be anything. This could be work. This could be career. This could be your family life. I mean, it really could be anything, but it just seems like you're trying to make a decision, okay? And you're looking at the, the, the situation from a higher perspective, or at least you're needing to look at the, at the situation from a higher perspective. You do have anxiety here, which can be seen as like a nine of swords energy, which is funny because this is card number 18, and that boils down to a nine. Um, but there, either this situation is giving you anxiety, it's, it, it's not worth, um, the, the effort that you're putting into it is not worth the payout, or um, it's just not worth it for you to be involved with this at all any longer, um, and you're trying to figure out how to handle it, you're trying to figure out how to get away from it, you're trying to figure out what to do about it. Uh, I just get a strong sense for you, Leo Virgo Cuspers, for you guys that this situation, regardless of the circumstances, this situation has been giving you a shit ton of anxiety. And now you're, you're at a crossroads here. You're trying to figure out what it is that you need to do about this situation. Okay, At, uh, underneath that, you have three more cards. You have rest and rejuvenation, you have woman holding a coin, and you have walking away. And I feel like for most of you, the fact either you have already walked away, and I'm picking up on the energy of the other person, or the other people in this situation, uh, regardless of whether, I mean, this is a general reading, but... So either someone here has walked away, probably someone more on the feminine side of this situation, um, has, packed, has packed her shit and left, okay? Um, walked away. Um, and now this other person is kind of getting like a, 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 a like more expanded view of it or is trying to get some sort of expanded view of the situation. Um, or this could be you and you are indecisive about the situation, whether about the, in terms of whether you should or should not walk away. And when it comes to that, rest and rejuvenation is needed here for you, okay? Now it could also be, if you have already walked away from this situation, it very well could be that, you know, um, you are really focusing on rest and rejuvenation because maybe in the past you were really indecisive about what or what you should or shouldn't do. And it could be that maybe now you have already really, yeah, you've taken your shit, you've packed your shit and you left. And you're standing on your own two feet and now you're just dealing with the recovery from this situation. Trying to regain your strength, trying to regain some sort of balance. You do have envy at the bottom of the deck here. Okay, and underneath Envy is Cornucopia. You have two 11s between Cornucopia and card number 29 here, the world. Um, so you could see that as an 11-11. Maybe this is a twin flame situation. Maybe this is something that was an awakening for you and it's in direct, uh, but what I'm hearing is this is, in, this is in direct alignment with you in some way. Um, and when, with whomever is walking away here, I, actually, I feel like, yeah, whomever needs to walk away from this situation, whether you, regardless of whether you've done it yet or not, you are going to be walking towards some sort of cornucopia, some sort of abundance here, okay? And people around you are probably going to be really super jealous of you, especially if you're walking away from a relationship of sorts um, and you're leaving them behind for something better. That's Kaya. If you're leaving pe them behind for something better, you really are walking towards something way better for yourself here. Okay? Okay. Ah. Uh, this could be, this really could involve business. You could be leaving a job that was not treating you well, or at least you didn't want to be in. Again, this could be, this could have to do with an awakening for you. Um, and often when we go through a spiritual awakening and we really start to, to wake up to the reality around us, we find it difficult to stay in a typical nine to five job. I feel like there's a lot of abundance and a lot of growth that you've been through with this woman holding a coin. 
Um, and this doesn't, I, I'm, I'm really going back and forth with this deck as to whether or not this is really speaking to gender or if it's to energy. But since this is an over, uh, this is a general reading, I'm just going to say it's, it, it could be speaking to a woman. I mean, mostly a lot of, most of the viewers here on YouTube that watch these readings are women or feminine energies, all right? So this could be speaking to the feminine energy with you. I really feel like there is a strong, <laughs> there is a strong sense here that you really come into, you stepped into a sense of feminine power here, which is giving you the authority to walk away from whatever it is is no longer serving you. And man, there are some envious people around you because yeah, you really are walking towards a strong state of abundance here, okay? All right, let's get into the tarot and let's get some clarification. I want to clarify, we're going to talk about indecision first. All right. Let's talk about this. What is, oops, what is this indecision for my Leo Virgo Cuspers? What is this indecision. We'll give this one more shuffle here. Okay. So for my Leo Virgo cuspers here, what is this indecision for you? Seven of Swords. There's been deception here. Although I'm not exactly sure why you're indecisive. Three of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. Okay, for some of you, it's like you're waiting on some sort of return on an investment. You've been putting, you've been investing, and in, uh, yeah, okay, so you've been investing a lot of time and a lot of effort into this situation, and yet it doesn't seem to be giving you the payoff that you want, or at least you don't see it coming yet. But I'm going to be completely honest with you. For those of you that are still in this indecisive energy, I think you're kind of fooling yourselves. I don't think this is this return on whatever it is you've been putting into the situation. I don't think this is going to come to you. And I think that there are people around you that are lying to you about this, trying to get you to believe, oh, it's just wait, just be patient. It's coming. But mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. I don't think it's coming. And I feel like you know that too. <laughs> yeah, there it is right there. Underneath the three of wands is the seven of pentacles. I think you know that too. I think you're getting to the point where you're finally starting, starting to get ready to be able to let go of this situation and move on and walk away. Pack your shit, take your stuff, take your abundance, whatever it is, and walk away. I feel like you finally are starting to get a, a, a more expanded view of this situation. Let's see. What is the world here? Yeah, oh, wow. Okay. Underneath the Seven of Pentacles is the Hanged Man. Yeah. And the Five of Swords is underneath that. You're really starting to learn. You're really starting to learn the lesson here. And so that's why you have this anxiety coming through. Because you know it's time for you to take the step. To make the next action. To make the move. And the choice is yours. You can either stay or you can go. But you, if you stay, if you stay, you know you're still just going to be subject to this bullshit. Right? This Seven of Swords shit. So... You learn through the contrast. It's time to start moving. For sure. Let's talk about anxiety here. Why are you so anxious? Why are my Leo Virgo customers so anxious? Okay. You have the seven of wands here. Lots of sevens for you. So seven is a number of luck and damn. You have all four sevens on the table with the five of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. This has been a very strong lesson for you, hasn't it? What's giving you anxiety here? And what I heard when this, when this came out, you have the seven of wands and the seven of cups. Boundaries are... Okay, I'll say it this way first. Boundaries are, are a little bit of a difficult topic for you to handle. Or boundaries in this way. I really do feel like I'm speaking to a woman or a feminine energy that is involved with a masculine that they love and care for very deeply, but this masculine is not treating you well. 
This doesn't have to be about love, but that's kind of what's coming through right now. This could also absolutely be about business, but this part is kind of coming through right now, at least in terms of boundaries. And actually, you know what? Okay, let me say this. Um, I, this could, if this is love, this masculine individual is not treating you well, and you don't want to cut them off. But that's codependency that I'm feeling right there for you, okay? So check that shit at the door, right? <laughs> that's what I just heard. But now also, if this has to do, I mean, either way, all around, it's, it's codependent energy. But if this has to do with business, this is you not wanting to assert yourself too much because you don't want to be blacklisted, I guess. Pigeonholed as difficult or, or uh, uh, combative or or um, insubordinate or whatnot, whatever. But if this has to do with business, I feel like you should be walking away. Well, okay, look, regardless of whether this is business or not, I feel like y'all need to be walking away, but you're having difficulty doing it. And it's, and it's this lack of the five of pentacles here. There is a lack of um, self-belief. There is lack mentality that is keeping you connected to this situation that is keeping you from... Um, sorry guys, that is keeping you from setting boundaries here. There might be some gaslighting going on with the Seven of Cups here. Yeah. But, you, but what I was saying earlier is you have all four sevens on the table right now. So this is a massive major awakening point I'm hearing or, or, or lesson for you because sevens are numbers of luck, yes, but they're also numbers of wisdom and spirituality. And the lessons that come with sev the number seven can be challenging, just like the lessons that come with the number five. Underneath the five of pentacles, you have the four of pentacles and that narcissistic energy that I was picking up on, that gaslighter, the king of wands. You need to be letting go of this. You're holding on too tightly. You're holding on for dear life because of a lack of mentality. But also this person, whether this is a, a boss or um, a friend, a colleague, a family member, or a lover, this person is gaslighting you. Trying to make you think that you're, they're on your side Oh, wait, I'm doing this backwards. Trying to make you think that they're on your side when in reality, they're not. Okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look, wow. Look, guys, I mean, this is all it right here. Underneath the King of Wands, Temperance, Death, the Fool, the King of Swords. The king of pentacles to your queen of pentacles. This is a balance between masculine and feminine energy with justice at, underneath that. Somebody has got to be discerning. Look at this situation as it is and take their power back and go through a transformation and take a leap of faith. Greater balance, greater harmony, greater union, a sense of self, but transformation also. Okay. All right. I I want to close this out here for you guys, and I'm gonna go with the Oracle of uh, the Moon. The um. Oh goodness, Moonology Oracle deck. Here. Now, for others of you, you have already made this decision and you have, in fact, walked away. And at this point, now is just a time for you to rest and rejuvenate and recuperate and get back to yourself. All right. You're really going to need some time to allow this energy to really leave your system. So as much as, a, as much alone time as you can take at this point is imperative, is ideal for you. Okay. Last shuffle, and let's see here what your, there it is, right there. Wow. Woo! 
Woo! Overall energy for you guys. Surrender to the divine. Full moon. And actually, we just had a full moon in Virgo yesterday on the 9th of March. So that full moon could have kicked this off, couldn't it? You have, it's time to release negativity. Full moon in Scorpio. Full moon in Leo. Don't let your pride get in the way. And waiting moon, what do you need to release? My, 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 ladies and gents. I mean, this could kill. Yeah. Look, here's the thing. And, and, and Spirit is taking me back to the Tarot deck, which is still telling your story right here. And I'm just looking at the bottom of the deck here. What do you need to release? Well, check it out. There's indecision here. There's a choice that you need to make. There's also denial going on here for some of us, for some of you. For others of you, you're past this point already, but yeah, you went through a period of denial for yourself also, okay? The, and and you, what, what needs to be done is you need to choose yourself. Nine of Pentacles, stand on your own two feet, stand tall, stand strong. Don't let your pride get in the way saying, no, well, I'm in this commitment or I'm at this job, I need to honor it. No, if the shit is toxic, you need to get the F up out of there. And you know this because spirit, surrendered to the divine, Spirit has been guiding you towards this, or at least your higher self. Bring this cook, this situation to a close with the world, and you will find your satisfaction. Nine of Cups. Okay? I love you guys. I hope this was helpful. If you'd like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All the information is in the description box below. But with that said, I hope you guys have a great month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading. Probably for the month of April. Yeah? Take care. Mm -hmm. Bye.